兄弟姐妹们，你好，你好吗？我很好。为这一天，感谢上帝，感谢你对我一生的工作感兴趣。我希望你一切都好。我有话要说，但我知道我说普通话的人不多。没关系，我会说英语。我知道每个人都懂英语。Thank you all very sincerely for learning and respecting English. I love you all. I have some things I need to discuss today that are going to make you uncomfortable, but I know you will understand the significance to bringing this to the light and correcting it. For the world's children, and to help protect our children's minds.、Um, before I get to that, I would like to suggest、uh, an old children's book. This is not an insult, and if you take the time to look at it, you will understand why I'm suggesting it. Currently in the world, there's a lot of mental suffering. There's been a lot of loss of morals, and a lot of disconnection from nature. This children's book covers a lot of fundamental morals as peaceful human beings. So, if you could re-reference or reference this book, this is not a joke. Read it as a responsible parent, and use it to your own advantage, while consciously parenting your child into a peaceful, loving human being. Thank you very much for your interest in conscious parenting. It is the way to help correct the world. We need to be connected with our children. Our children need to be connected with us. If we are not, due to the circumstances that we are trying to fit into a mold, we need to change those circumstances because we will not discover peace being separated from our children. I believe, as a peaceful, loving human being, in the year twenty twenty two. I trust your internal intuitional signals to comprehend the severity of that statement.、Uh, I would also like to mention once again *A Radical Awakening* by Dr. Shifali. It is largely female perspectives. *Kiapali*: Mothers are important. Fathers are important. Young boys are important, and young girls are important. I have read the book several times. I have experience absorbing the female perspective maturely. I am a man, and I also have my male perspectives as well. In order for this video to be most useful to you as an individual in developing your own degree of inner peace and helping. You guide your own child towards their development of inner peace. You need to think a little more broadly than you're used to thinking, respectfully. To help you, you just have to understand that people are individuals with characteristics. Humans. Are a species with traits. I'm not going to be discussing your personal details, but I am going to discuss the nature of men and women. I have to speak directly and boldly, but maturely. I believe if you be mindful of my tone. It will help you understand that I'm trying to do this respectfully, although some of the things, once again, are going to make you uncomfortable. I need to discuss 
what's going on with this online free porn bullshit corruption. I'm going to explain this to you in possibly a revolutionary way. And I'm praying that I'm reaching people that can take this seriously. I feel like I am. Thank you all very much for uh, understanding the severity of my information. Now, the titles of all this free porn are about intimacy with their mother, their father, their stepmother, their stepfather, their brother, their sister. How do you feel about your child being guided by porn that is really strongly pushing having sex with adults and parents and brothers and sisters? How does that make you feel? It doesn't make me feel very fucking good. And I'll tell you that the titles are supposed to entice you to watch them and the titles are so offensive. Now, if you're a young human, male or female, and you're discovering your own sexuality, which is very important, and your sexuality is yours. It's nobody else's. Um, when you get a significant other, do you expect to share that significant other? Not likely. So, in that, discovering your sexuality, well, you don't have to share it with anybody. You don't have to push it on anybody. You just find people of like minds and know you, do you, right? Now, <clears throat> if you're a young person and you're trying to discover your own sexuality and you don't have parents that are comfortable with talking to you about it because they didn't have parents that were comfortable talking to them about it respectfully and you hear things and you see things there's a lot of sexuality on our screens and in our faces now you decide to go online and try to discover something and try to learn your own sexuality and all you're finding for free is intimacy with close family members and you don't know the difference. You're confused as it is. Nobody's talking to you. It's very, very harmful to our children's minds. Now, Women are designed to be food sex, and men are designed to be sex food. In that, men are generally more sexual. Broadly, a woman can only have one child every nine months. So she wants a man that's going to be around to help take care of that child, logically. Now, by nature, men can impregnate several women in a week. So their perspective on sexuality is different. The nature of the sexual struggles that men face internally are much different than the sexual struggles that women feel internally, but they're both very real to both men and women. Um, now, if you have a situation where a woman has her sexual body parts barren in your face and you're aroused, well, that doesn't necessarily mean that woman is all that attractive. It could just be that that man is a healthy sexual man. Additionally, as men, nobody is really telling them that they need to go inside themselves and not condone that behavior. I feel a mistake that a lot of men make respectfully is that they don't think it's all that serious 
if they allow themselves to fantasize about it within their own minds, not understanding that the longer they make it okay within their head because they think nobody knows, and the longer they condone it within themselves, the more likely they are going to develop a desire to do that outside of their body in our reality, and then they are hurting children. They think it's okay because they're not really dealing with themselves. That's a sexual corruption that's not being pushed out. Once you, as the individual, male or female, but again, this is largely for the males, but there is a lot of females in those videos being either harmed or misguided, right? So it applies to everyone. Once you take the time to consistently push those corrupted thoughts out of your mind, after quite a few times of doing it, depending on the severity of your case, you are going to know why you don't want to watch it. You're going to know that it's not healthy for your mind. It's not good guidance towards a good sexuality. And then you're not going to want to watch it. And you're not going to want to do it. And you're not going to want it around. And you very well may be sitting in your lawn, uh, talking to a bunch of people on a camera about how they need to protect their children from this uh, potential threat. Now, to be direct, I've never been Oh, lo siento. It's a great big bee there. <laughs> Love seeing the bees. They're an endangered species. This is no me, no mome in case you don't know. But I've never been one of those guys that uh, hooted and hollered at women in the alleyways. I understood why women felt the way they did. It doesn't really make them feel good. But I would like to expand on that. Um, as the woman, they feel like a piece of meat. Like they just want to be used and, uh, and left. And in some cases, that is the case. That's why they feel that way. But I hope this doesn't come out disrespectfully, but it's not necessarily because of anything to do with that woman. That woman could go home and think all kinds of things and be upset about it respectfully. They're, they have the right to do that. But that guy might have hooted and hollered at every single woman that came by because the reason those men do that is because they're sex food, they're not getting any, they're hormonal, they don't really have any knowledge of going inside themselves and dealing with their own sexuality and being mature about it. And once a lot of those men get to that degree where they're just really hormonal and unaware, available is the sexiest option. So you know what they do? They shoot out rude comments and they say things because they're hormonal and, and they're just putting it out there. Most women nowadays, thankfully, know to respect themselves and keep walking away from a situation where they're not going to be respected. But if that woman was to take to that man, there's a strong possibility that that man would either not follow through because he was all talk or do exactly what he said and use you and leave you. Now, I don't, I'm not judging you. Maybe you're a woman that wants that. I know that there is a perception that men are dogs. And again, going back to what I've already said, I understand it. But men have been cheated on. And women can be dogs. And women have slept around. And women are not innocent, respectfully. We need to get over all of that. We now have sexual equality because... Women have developed currency and position and trust, as have men. Uh, who's better, men or women, to lead? In my perspective, it's about individual characteristics and character. It's not about if they're a man or a woman. Uh, if the woman has better character and proper intent, then she would be. And if the man does, then he would be. It's not about the gender and 
I also understand that women have been extremely abused for being women over the years. I, as a respectful man, am very thankful that women were able to use their sexuality to break that, right? Like right now, there's a lot of hypersex going on and there's a couple things factoring in, but the women had to use their sexuality to kind of get in position to be respected broadly, right? Like starting back around like Marilyn Monroe and uh, Ella Fitzgerald and all those strong women, right? That really started the movements, then influencing like Dong Lee Jin and all kinds of uh, women from around the world. So it was that strong sexuality where men do have that weakness. Well, women were able to use that to break the abuse. And that's fucking amazing. That's great. They had to do that. And respectfully, right now, since we have equality and women have gone through that to obtain it, a lot of women are very bitter. A lot of women think all men are dogs. And again, since the women used their sexuality to get to that point, our young men are facing some unique struggles right now. And if you have a son growing up in this world right now, I hope you could take this seriously in that whatever happened had to happen and we're not there anymore. We're right here. We have a whole new circumstance because of COVID. We are not before COVID. We are amidst coming to the end of COVID. But the men and the young, the young boys of the world, we need the women to offer a greater respect than they were given to help the young men understand the significance of taking control of their own sexuality and their own hormones and governing that respectfully amongst other people. So, again, if you're not sitting down and pushing those things out and you're not making efforts to exclude that internally, the longer you condone it internally, the more likely you are to do it externally. The free porn is absolutely damaging every child that touches it with their eyes, every man that touches it with their eyes, every woman that touches it with their eyes, that is not doing anything positive for the children of the world or the people of the world. And I strongly suggest you boycott all that free porn. They go on the cruise ships and they give free porn. Well, yeah, all the free shit is the garbage. And the children don't have money. And everybody's broke. I, I'm an adult. I don't have money. But I'm not going on free porn. Because I know better. And I hope and I pray with all that I am that this is not overlooked and this is taken as a very serious matter because our children need us. If you have a child that is in adolescence age, you don't have to push it on them but you should really make efforts to talk to them about it a little bit. Let them know that regardless of what your sexuality is as their parent, you are not them and they have to discover their own sexuality. And even if your child is not really about talking to you about it, I would still suggest you warn your child about the dangers of this very corrupted free porn that's all over the internet. Um, again, because our children need us. I'm going to conclude this video. I know it takes some time to hear it out. I really appreciate your time. Before I go, it's very important to me that we take a moment of silence in honor of the children that we have lost recently in America to the shootings. Again, responsible gun laws are extremely crucial.
Dios bendiga América. Filipino Figo. Ganching ni dwe wo yi shang da ganzo ganching chu. Los Samoa Toros. Kapaya paan at pagmama house la hat. Devonikitanya vadalo. Indio yotora.